Welcome. We are making new videos for the new website and the new projects we have launched. We have now three major projects on Arch Linux. We have the Arch Linux ISO, the Arch Linux D ISO, the big one, the small one, and then something special is new since June 2018. We can offer you to build the Arch Linux yourself. So you can decide what goes on it and you can decide what goes off from it. So that's all up to you. You run a script and you have an ISO. This video is going to be about the Arch Linux D ISO. The Arch Linux D stands for choose the desktop, start with a minimal installation, edit and run the script to set up your system. That's the goal. In the meantime, I have installed Arch Linux D and I'm booting, booting now from the virtual box with this second line because this is the ISO that's still in there and this is grub. So this is what you normally get on an SSD or a laptop or a PC and then we boot into Arch Linux D and this is it. So after a graphical installation, that's no problem. Uh, like Arch Linux, you get a graphical way to install everything. That's shown in another video, well many videos actually, but this is what you get. Now you have to do some stuff. Now, I'm not going to install everything, but I'm going to show what it feels like, what it looks like. So we have here, we can update the system with PKSUA. That's maybe something you can do. Might take a while because it's an ISO off a week ago. <laughs> 665 megabytes. And let's really think it's 30. Yep, yeah, that's a week ago. So that's how Arch Linux works. A lot of information, lots of updates coming in. And um, well, we're basically every day we're typing PKS UA. Now, where does it come from? Maybe an interesting tip for you uh, virtual box users. Look me, look what I'm doing. I have the keyboard in front of me, the right control, F3, and I'm in another TTY. You see there, TTY3. And I can log in again and show you other stuff like mirror. And mirror is a command that we use to get the fastest servers around. So if you're living in Australia or in America, it's going to be a different server, right? And you want the fastest server in your, for your system. So that's, that's what this thing does, mirror. That's done. And why all these strange words? I've never seen this in any other distro. It's because we are lazy, because we can't remember basically all these things. And almost in the middle, um, middle you can see mirror. Pseudo reflector protocol, HTTPS, blah, 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 etc. You know, I rather type mirror. The same applies for a little bit down there, PKSYUA is actually yaourt minus SYUAR, no confirm. So it's easier to remember a shortcut or an alias. And uh, there are other aliases quite interesting in there, but these two are interesting for you to know. So right control, F2, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. So you can navigate to these elements. So we have updated our system. Great. Now, if you saw something in there that was called Linux, then that's your kernel. My advice is always reboot. So let's assume it's in there. So sudo reboot and then everything shuts down and restarts again. Since the ISO is still in there, we get this, but normally you will get this if there is no USB sticking in there with an ISO, then we get back in. And we don't have a desktop, so there is no choice let me quickly show you that image because that makes it more interesting. We're on, on this thing. We are on Arch Linux D, so we have an Arch based system. And you choose Openbox or i3 or BSPWM or Mate. So we have a very basic system, all in black, and it's up to us now to make the rest. And it's all explained on Arch Linux D. Maybe I should show that as well like so. So we are working in Arch Linux D website 
and choose XFCC, uh, we choose to install open box, that's phase two or i3. Phase three can be any desktop environment, we'll make a, a long list of uh, different desktops we can put on Arch. So, basically, I'm gonna quickly show you and then end the video here. We clone something from the net. We git clone https github.com slash then we have arco linux d slash arco in short and then we decide we want bspwm that's something new never heard about that okay you give it a try you're cloning information this is the list this is me going inside change directory this is the list and that's what we do we run scripts from 0 to 920 and there's a little folder there that's called personal that you can try out as well and if you're on uh, phase 5 if you're on phase 5 and you are you want to have an arch linux 100% arch linux installation starting with an arch iso that's great then you're gonna need this folder here that's called archway and then you can try that as well so it's really a trial and, and a learning um, experience that we want to sell eh? and so we want to well avoid the frustration as frustrations as much as possible we give you all the knowledge with videos and articles the only thing you have to do is first search for them look for them if there are issues put them on the forum we can chat with each other in discord and um, basically here ends the tutorial you can watch more about any of these uh, elements you always go to installation of article linux d installation of budgie and so on so do check it out and enjoy yourselves <laughs>